Hello everybody, welcome to Anderson's TV, I'm the captain. Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And, as you can tell from Rob's attire, <laughs> this is a blindfold challenge. Um, blindfolded, in fact, to see uh, which of these aforementioned instruments of doom uh, Rob likes the best. Now, uh, we're doing guitar amps today, that much I will tell you, Rob. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Lee. They for changing are, the plan last minute without telling we, me. We actually have 13 what? different amps, and I have split them into two blindfold challenges. One of the following ones that you can see here, and the qualifying sort of category of these is these are all over a thousand pounds. Right. And the one we're going to do afterwards, which will have seven amps in it, are where they're all under a thousand pounds. Have you just boosted the price of some of your amps? No, no, no. for one day. No. Now, <laughs> if you, obviously we cannot, there was a hilarious comment in one of the blindfold videos we did recently of, I wish you'd tell us what the amps were, you know, during the video. And then of course you just go, that would somewhat give away the blindfoldedness of it. I mean, so here are the amps. And we are going to go through these one at a time. Uh, we have no clever way of switching these, unfortunately. So it's just a question of unplugging the guitar and the speaker every time. Here are the, we're going to go in this order. So starting here, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Rob can go back, forth, retry anything he wants to. There's no kind of like 20 second rule or anything. And at my feet, uh, well, I will, the, so the three things or four things I will tell you that we have today. Yeah. You have a Ghost Fret Pro. But you know that because it's you chose it. It's black as well. It. Yes. <laughs> um, we are running into a Marshall 4x12 in the corner over there that oh you guys God. may not be able to see. Um, and it is the 1960AX, which is a green backloaded one. Uh, and we often use, when we use that, generally speaking, we like that. It's got a nice kind of warm tone to it. And on the floor, I have an Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer uh -huh. with all the gain rolled off and all the level rolled in. Uh -huh. and the tone at 12 o'clock. Classic. And we have a Mythos Mjolnir. Yeah! With everything on 12 o'clock. Woo! And, what? Huh? I mean middle. Yeah, everything <clears throat> middle. Okay, yeah. sorry. And all the amps here are on a fairly high gain setting, but with everything at 12 o'clock. So okay. the EQ at 12 o'clock, the gain at 12 o'clock, everything. So of course, if you want me to add or subtract any kind of gain or EQ or add in pedals, I can. But we're starting sure. at 12 o'clock as a thing. Well, other than being ocularly impaired, yes. I am also, um, I've got nines on this, I think, so it's gonna be a little bit floppy, but we'll give it everything we've well, got. You, okay, you have a last chance to change the guitar <coughs> as you chose it. I'm keeping the guitar. Okay, uh, right. So the first amp, which has had a little time to warm up here, so we won't need to have any more preamble. To warm up, um, to which warm means up. it must be valve. Uh, no, I'm just going to tell you they all need to warm up, so that, you know, therefore I'm... I'm... Damn it! <laughs> right, here we go with the first one. Uh, as I said, everything on 12, see what you think. And the speaker's think. to my left? It is, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Like a pedal or anything added in? Could you add the tube screamer, please? Go. <laughs> Mjolnir, now instead, here we go. <sighs> Shh. 
sugar. And you're not trying to guess the amp, you're just giving me a mark out of 10. Okay. I meant to say that. It's just like a, <clears throat> on the chapper's scale of joy. Well, I'll tell you, I will also tell you if I think I know what the amp is. Wow, okay. Um, I don't know what that amp is. Uh, I do like it. I think I'm going to give it, out of 10, um, a resounding seven. Okay, I will just... Now, by all means, I kind of think that... Uh, just very It's a relative slight... number, isn't it, seven? Because oh, yeah. we don't really know whether the next amp you're going to like it more or less. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh. um... I just realised it could have been anything in this mug, you know, I would never... And maybe it is. Did you use soya milk, Pete? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> As Rob breaks into anaphylactic yeah, don't shock kill me. or whatever. I literally, it is if I have a tablespoon camera. of cream, I go into anaphylactic shock. It's awful. I'll just put this down here then. Uh oh. Oh no. All right. There we go. Look at that. It literally leaps into action as fast as you've ever seen anyone from Malta leap, which probably isn't very fast. <laughs> Uh, okay, are you? Do you want me to change anything about this amp? Bearing in mind everything's just on twelve. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit just... trebly. So could you right, add okay. a bit more low end in and, and take a little bit of a little the... bit less treble, a <clears throat> little bit more bass. With you me know on there or without? You know what? Or are you just going to leave it? You know what? Your sound, yeah? I'm just going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's Valve. Okay. Shout. Fair enough. Well, there we are. Well, that, we move on? The, yeah, move on. We'll move on. So we're sticking with seven. Uh, as seven a point, score. Seven point two. Seven point two. I just had a little two. Yeah, on I there. don't think it's a Valve. Okay. Well, who knows? Who knows? Uh, right, so here we go with some... Right, everybody in make fact. loud noises so that Rob can't hear Wait, me switching. in fact. Ah! Oh, Pete's just squeezing through the undergrowth there. Like the uh, dirty stalker that he is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Now, same again. This is a dirty channel uh, with... All the EQ and gain and everything set to 12 o'clock and the pedals are not on at the moment. Okay. Take it away, Mr. Robert. <coughs> I have a question. Why is everything so noisy in here? Any ideas? What, we're playing a loud guitar? Yeah, it's just that. I have a question. Yeah. Is the reverb or delay or anything always from the amp? I don't know if I can tell you that. Oh. Uh, there, you have a selection of amps here, some with built-in reverb and oh, some okay. where what we have done, just for scientific continuity, if the amp doesn't have reverb, we've always used a Boss RV6 reverb. Oh great, my favourite reverb pedal. <laughs> the tube screamer? Yes. Woo! Do you want the Mjolnir? Yeah.
You know, I, I'm doing gremlin hunting. I'm looking for indicators that would tell me that it's, it's a certain kind of amplifier. Do you want me to adjust EQ at all on this amplifier? Or you Could you turn the gain less? down, please? Sorry. OK, uh, the gain is now from 12 o'clock to, what, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock? 10 it. 10 o'clock, OK, there we go. <laughs> And is the tube screamer and the Milner off? They are both off, yeah. That's a camper. Okay, and the uh, score out of 10, please. Uh, I'm going to give that a 7.6. So we like that one better than the first one, <clears throat> is what you're saying. Well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, assert something here. Yeah. I think you've tricked me, and I think potentially they were both Kemper. Okay. Well, it's conceivable. It's conceivable. I mean... As was my wife. <laughs> 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 uh, yet again, so all the pedals are off. Um, the pedals are off. All of the uh, EQ and gain is on 12 o'clock. And uh, here is... Uh, here is... Ooh! Amp numero trois. This one here, everybody. Go! That's familiar. Oh, man. Requests for pedals or tone changes? Or uh, less gain, please. Could you 10 the gain? Less gain? I mean, who is this guy? Well, 10 o'clock gain, gain. is really good at masking all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Screamer, please. Yeah, I thought... Give that a score. Don't forget, this isn't a question. You have this isn't about you trying to guess which is which. No, no, this no, is no, just no, you no, going, I, I, I like that one. It's it's uh, there can be no winners or losers. Th there's a chewy, trebly element to the game, and it reminds me of something I played, and I'm either I'm gonna say it's either <sighs> it's wait. wait. It's either a Marshall or, and I, you know what, I think it might be that uh, Hughes and Kettner. Okay, and you're going to give it a score out of 10? I'm going to give that one a 6.8. Oh, your least favourite so far. Well, it's just that it's, it's too much gain for me. And, and, and the gain quality is a little bit fluffier. So it's a little, there's slightly more chew to it. So just to recap so far, 
I'm just letting you know, your first amp you scored 7.2, the second one you scored 7.6, and the third one you scored 6.8. Yes. So, okay, cool. Uh, let's move on to amp number four. We just need merry-go-round music or something now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, dear. Hang on a second, we better. Okay. okay. You happy? I'm happy. Uh, I don't know how much volume. We might need a bit more volume. Right. That's nice. I think it's a victory. Do but you? I think it's a victory. Um, Do you want any pedals with it? You haven't tried it yet. Could you turn the gain down? What's the gain set to? Uh, everything's on 12. Could you set the gain to about eight? And yes. put that tube screamer on, please. Okay, here we go. Turn the tube screamer off, please. Take it back. <sighs> oh. I, I, I like it a lot. It's my favourite sound so far. I've got a horrible feeling you, you've tricked me with every single one of these amplifiers. Because when I roll it off, suddenly I lose 10% of my confidence in the fact that it's valve. I, I Yes, so I'm going to say it sounds like a victory. And I'm going to say that I'm going to give it a resounding 8.1. 8.1 sounds like... Uh, victory. Okay. I'm also going to say, yes. I think you may have lied to me about the price point. Um, well, do you know what, Rob? I've lied to you about a lot of things in my yes. life, uh, but the price point isn't one of them. Okay. Um, so you have two more amps to go. <coughs> 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 Chica, chica, ba, ba. Okay, so yes, two more amps to go. Uh, so far, again, we've had a range of scores from 6.8 to 8.1. Uh, here we go with your penultimate, uh, penultimate, penultimate, penultimate amp. I can't even say it, Rob. Penultimate amp uh, with everything again set to 12. <laughs> Controls set to 12? All the controls, except for volume, which is set to, you know. That's the victory. Can you put the mid up about two? What? Okay, I'm going to like two o'clock, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And add a little bit more treble. A uh, little bit more treble, yeah. 
Cheese camera off. Mule now or just? Uh, just just okay. off. I really like that. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to give that 8.8, .8 and I'm going to say I think it's a victory. Okay. <sighs> Which means the previous one wouldn't have been. So it was probably a katana or something. Okay. So are we going to say the previous one? Are you just saying that's a joke, though, aren't you? Or well, I, I don't know whether you've lied about the price points, and I don't know whether you lied about saying you didn't lie about the price points. <laughs> I'm not trusting anything. Fine, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave whatever you said. Right. Uh, and <coughs> well, there is one more to go. Um, as I said, everything set to 12 o'clock. No pedals on at the moment. Let me just insert the cable. Insert away. <coughs> what, what's up with the turkey noises? I just, don't know. Oh dear, something's not. I mean, that's a beautifully engineered reverb. <laughs> Please add the Mjolnir. something on the amp? <laughs> amp. Uh, could you take off some of the treble and yes. add in some more of the mid? Uh, of course. <clears throat> and could you take off the noise gate? Um, sure. Uh, right, sorry, more mid. I'm just neurolinguistically programming Lee uh, to, to fish for any indicators. Okay, so no pedals on. <laughs> I'm going to give this profile by Michael Britt yeah. a, uh, an, uh, a nine. Wow. Uh, 8.9. <clears throat> oh, 
I sorry, I shouldn't have said wow. In you know, you can have a nine if you want. You want to go nine or eight point nine? Go, I, how many more amps are there? That's it. That's the oh, last one. Okay, nine. <laughs> nine. Okay. I, I'm. Is there anyone that you want to? So let me recap. Let me recap. Okay. Oh God. So the first one, you awarded a seven point two, and your comment was. I didn't think it was Valve. Yes. The second one, you gave a 7.6 and you went, it's a Kemper. <laughs> yes. The third one, you said, you gave it a, a 6.8 and you said it's either a Marshall or a Hughes and Kettner. Yes. The fourth one, you said it sounds like a victory and you gave it an 8.1. But then I wasn't sure and I thought the next one was a victory. Yeah, and then the next one you gave an 8.8 .8 and you went, I think it's a victory. Yeah. And then the final one, you've said, it's got beautiful reverb. Yeah. And you went, it's a Kemper, yeah. and you gave it a nine. Yeah. So you, so you, you fundamentally think that we've used... I think say, you've you, either used everything as a Kemper. We've either used potentially four Kempers. So there's really only <clears throat> two amps here that you actually thought were valve amplifiers. Uh, that was yeah. number three and number five. Uh, and the rest you think potentially are either Kempers There or... is a world in, like, that I live in where I think you've just used a Kemper for everything. Okay. Well, it's a great idea for a video. It is a great idea for a video. The one I really wanted to do was just use the same amp, just change the tone controls in yes. every single one. Maybe we've done that too. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you want to try or do you just want to go reveal? No, just reveal. Okay. Can I see? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, who's got my glasses? Uh, they're on your shirt. Are they? Yeah. There we are. Well, I hope you guys have played along too by watching this video with your monitors switched off or just with your no. eyes shut. So there you go. Sugar. So, which one, one was the two, three, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so your your probably your most astute comment oh. was on the Kemper where you went it sounds like a victory because we used it your victory a, silverback was... profile. So I thought that was quite good because you did like that one. The rest though, I've got to be honest with you, um was I totally wrong. V130, that's the only one you went I think it's a victory and you gave right. it 8.8. So the the Hughes and Kettner Grandmeister was the first one which you said you didn't think sounded very valvey. Right, it but I thought there was a Hughes and Kettner, but I got the wrong one as a Hughes and Kettner. Yep, the, uh, the lowest score you gave, which was a real surprise, I think Joss and I were looking at each other going, this sounds badass. The lowest score you gave was the 5150. I think that just had too much gain for you. Yeah, yeah. You kept saying, turn the gain down. But I, I know gain. people think I'm a shreddy metal guy, but really I'm just a, like a, a yeah. hard rock blues guy. So I, I like yeah. it, I, I like proper British crunch and then a, and then a bit of tubey on top. Your, your favourite sound of the lot was the Friedman, although, of course, you thought it was a uh, Kemper. I, I thought it was the Kemper because it was too perfect. Well, and sorry, and the beautiful reverb, but I think your exact words, that's a beautifully engineered reverb, yeah. was the Boss RV6 pedal, which at the beginning of the video, you turned your nose up as if you didn't like it. Crisis! So there you go, yet could again. Be, could, be, could be say that I got this one kind of right. You got this one really right. And I got that one This one 100% right. <clears throat> right. Um, and, and the rest completely and the rest, wrong. Yeah, pretty much completely wrong. Well, two and, out oh, of six. And that was the, there was an interesting one. I was saying to Pete, whilst you were playing the Kemper, I could tell you were trying to find the noise gate. And I was a bit worried that you would find it because I think it was on, albeit uh -oh. in a rear. Is it, it, on, is it, it off? It was off, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I said the noise gate thing purely to see if you'd rack the, no the noise gate was, was on this where you said, can you turn the noise gate off? And it's like, well, obviously there isn't one. So there you go. Right. Uh, we'll do some quick sweeps as well so that you can, uh, these are literally the settings that all the amps so are on. So I didn't on, make a complete fool of myself. Well, you know, I'd say playing half the songs in the wrong key was pretty funny, but. Uh... <laughs> Look, man, you know how difficult it is to shred the same stuff for the last 10 years. So there the we are. Fold. I know. So anyway, so the next Thank video that much. we are literally moving straight into now, is what? so stay tuned, is where we have seven amps, same thing again, what? seven amps, but all under a thousand pounds. Oh my God. Actually, I do know what, I can't even remember what the prices of these are off the top of my head, so we'll put links in the description below to go to every single one of these. So wait, wait, which one won? Oh, the Friedman one. The Friedman one. So do, uh, I, do I get to take it home? No, I'm afraid. I, my guess is, in terms of pricing, pretty sure the Grandmaster, Grandmeister and the 5150 are the two cheapest ones. The Victory is next, the Runt next, then the Kemper, it's the powered Kemper, obviously and then the boogie would have been the dearest one. But anyway, go to the oh, website God. if you want more info on any of those. Thank you, Rob, for participating. You are, you are more than welcome. Thank you, viewers, Thank for, you for viewing. during yeah. that Tune farce. in next week or maybe the week after, I don't know, for when we'll do part two of Can Rob Tell a Valve Amp from a Kemper from a... Just a... I don't know. Any? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bye.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.